Hi there guys and welcome once again to Jonesy's vlog. So this evening, it's a topic that's been getting on my nerves a, bit, a little bit uh, this this past week especially, and um, it's it's actually something I've touched upon once before on uh, on my channel back in the early days. It was back in 2012, I believe, uh, when the original takeover was happening, the the first toma, the very first toma, and um, it, back then it was talking about you know Leeds United fans sticking together and being united as one. Uh, you know, not sort of being at each other and, and having a go at each other, you know, just going together in that same di direction and supporting the team and, you know, just wanting what's best for the club. Now, so, one thing that I want to get across before I start is I've, I'm all for people having opinions. Um, that's something, again, that I've talked about on, on this channel. I've talked about opinions and opinions create healthy de debate between people and you know amongst Leeds United fans and amongst football fans um, in, in general you know you, you have such a wide range of, of characters you know a big range of, of different ages people from different backgrounds and different cultures and everything so there's always there's always tons of opinions uh, there and you know there's always going to be debate which is fine and I'm, I'm all for that uh, you know I, I enjoy discussing things on Twitter with people uh, whether they share the same opinion as me, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It happens all the time. It happens on YouTube. You know, that's why I do these vlogs because I know that not everyone is going to agree with me, and that's fine. You know, but if you can have a healthy debate about that, then you know, there's absolutely no problem. But but one thing that I've noticed happening, you know, it does seem to happen quite a lot, uh, which is annoying in itself. But but more recently. It seems to be that the people and the fans that seem to want to create divides between our own fans and at the club, and I just I can't quite get my head around it, and I really don't understand it. Uh, you know, if if you don't share the same opinion as someone else, then discuss it. You know, if if I don't like what someone's saying on Twitter, I either leave it, or if I feel like I want to have a debate about it, then I'll do that. My first thought isn't to send them a tweet going "fuck you" or "we well, don't know what the fuck you're talking about" or calling them names or you know just full on abusing them for no reason. And the th the thing that always gets on my nerves it's not even the people that necessarily abuse other users or other fans. It's people that are always really smarmy or make the sarcastic comments as if they think they're much better than everyone else. And and this week it, it kind of came to my attention anyway. Uh, what day are we on now? It's Wednesday, isn't it? So maybe it was Monday night, was it? Or Sunday night on Twitter. Uh, for some reason, people started a North Stand versus South Stand debate. And, well, I'm saying someone started it. Um, someone started it off by, by slagging off, you know, what was happening in SS5 and in the South Stand. Um, again, you know, if people have their opinions about what's been happening in SS5 this year or the South Stand, which has been great, by the way, um, then, you know, bring it up in a more mature or a more adult way. Don't be... I just don't understand. I can't get my head around someone slagging other fans off when, at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. You know, what's been happening in the South Stand this year, as I just said, it's been, for me, I think it's been fantastic for the club and it's just what we needed because the atmosphere at Ellen Road over the past season, well, over the past couple of seasons, really, has just been getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, no one can deny that. And the COP, you know, which has always been famous for its atmosphere that it creates, that has died a death. You know, that's like sitting in a morgue nowadays. And, you know, something needed to be done. Yes, things have not been good on the pitch. That's you know that's been clear to see. And obviously, you need something to cheer about, you know, on the pitch to create an atmosphere. And I understand that as well. But one thing about being Leeds fans and being supporters and something we pride ourselves on is that we can still create a fantastic atmosphere at Ellen Road. You know, it's such a great ground to do that. Uh, you know, it, the atmosphere doesn't get lost easily. You know, if there's just one little section that that sing you know that can reverberate round round the ground and can be well heard but like I say that had just disappeared completely so what the lads in SS5 decided to do was fantastic and it's grown and grown and grown over the season you know it started spreading out onto the other sections visually it looks so much better you know bringing the flags in and the banners uh, you know everyone sort of bringing the scarves in 
uh, you know, like I say visually it's a lot more colourful and it's just for me I mean you, you look at you look at the Liverpool fans and you look at the cop at, at Anfield before every game. Um how you know that looks so amazing and it sounds so great. Why can't we have something like that at Ellen Road? You know, bringing in the, the, the flags and the banners and that, you know, it, it's like you know, we can create our own little version of that there. But it's not about just keeping it there, it's about spreading it out, which is what it seems to be doing next season. You know, a lot more people are wanting to come over to the South Stand, um, you know, to help create that atmosphere. But, you know, that needs to spread around the ground. And like I say, from what Ole just started off as a, a little idea by, by a few people, uh, one of those is, I'm a, you know, one, a, a very close mate of mine, um, you know, what started off as just a little idea between about four or five people has grown and grown and grown over the season and you know the majority of people that you hear from and that you talk to are, are well behind it um, and whilst I'm just on the matter I'm going to put a link in the description below um, going to the SS5 website uh, where my mate has uh, uh, done a, a little article, a little piece on um, you know what this season has been like in SS5 and about how it all started you know how it has grown over the season uh, the knockbacks that they've had and you know what they're looking to do to, to go forward next season uh, so it's a really interesting read so anyway back back to the main point you know the other night people were were slagging it off they were calling it childish they were calling it cringe uh, they were calling it tin pot now f for a starters Tim Pot and Cringe, those words do my fucking nutting. The amount of people that use it on Twitter now, it's just, it's gone so over the top. Uh, you know, people seem to be using it for absolutely everything. You know, everything has to be Tim Pot or everything has to be Cringe. And to me, I find that just so, uh, to me, I find that childish. Yet they're calling the stuff that's been going on in, in SS5 and some of the singing and the chanting and the banners, they'd be calling that childish. Like I say, if if they don't like what's going in going on in there for whatever reason, then either keep it to themselves or bring it up in a mature way and discuss discuss it with other fans instead of, you know, having to go at people that have put in a lot of effort, a lot of money, and a lot of time into essentially doing something that creates a better atmosphere at the game for yourself and for everyone else. Like I say, we all want the same thing at Leeds United as fans. We all want the team to do well, and we all want to have a good time watching our club. Now, if you don't particularly like the way they're going about it, then fine, you stick to doing what you do. But don't resort to going onto social media and, and abusing them and sending offensive messages to them. What are you achieving by that? It's just, I, I really, you can see by the way I'm sort of ranting about this, that it just, it really, really does get to me, and I can't understand uh, you know people's mindsets behind that. You know there are some songs that, that have you know I've been in SS5 quite a lot this this season and that's why I've got my season ticket there for next season. And, you know I don't particularly like the you know the eat sleep leads repeat kind of thing. Um, you know I, personally for me I just I, I don't like it. Am I going to stop someone from singing that around me? No. Why would I? It's creating an atmosphere. They're enjoying it. You know, the, there's the Eat Sleep Leeds Repeat uh, flag that came out, and again, I don't particularly like it, but it creates it's more visuals there. Yet for some reason, pe some people on Twitter seem to be offended by it, and, and again, they find it cringe uh, and tin pot and things. And I just think, just get a life, really. If you don't like it, just shut up about it, or you know, bring up a, a you know. A solution to something you want to do in the cop to create a better atmosphere. Like I say, it created this this stupid North Stand South Stand debate on Twitter that that was just so pointless and had no real meaning to it. And it's it, like I say, it's like these people just want to create a divide between fans in the club. And you know, it was brought up again by um, uh, the uh, a guy called Big D Darren on uh, on Twitter. Um, you know, he's, he's well known as uh, Darren for, you know, doing a lot of debates and, uh, you know, questioning a lot of things that happen at the club. You know, some people like it, some people don't, you know. But, I, you know, personally, I, I quite like what he does. You know, I don't always agree with the stuff that he says. But at the end of the day, he's promoting healthy debate, which is, you know, what I like to see and what I'm talking about tonight. 
and he made a very very good point I can't remember if it was this morning or last night um, saying how quick people are to create these divides between people of you know if someone questions maybe Cellino or McDermott or a player you suddenly anti Cellino, you're anti McDermott, you're anti McCormack or you have to be pro Cellino or whatever well surely why do you have to be put into a, a camp like that you know I'm you know as I've said on on vlogs you know on here I'm still unsure about Cellino but on the whole you know I'm supporting him I want him to do well but if I question something that he does or say I don't particularly like the way he's gone about something like that then there will be someone on Twitter that will go oh what are you being so anti Cellino for why I'm not being anti Cellino it's you know it's good to question things that happen uh, you know at our club that we love and we want to do well if we don't particularly like the sound of something then we have every right to question that and and like like Darren says and like I'm saying you know people just seem so quick to to set this divide between fans when at the end of the day Charlotte we're all pro Leeds United why can't we just all settle at that people are going to have the different opinions discuss that with them but don't slag them off for having that opinion or have a go at them or abuse them for it I mean, it, when I was looking at that North Stand, South Stand debate, and I, I looked at some of the guys that were doing it, and I recognised one of them from uh, someone who had uh, slagged what I do off, you know, slagged my vlogs off, um, and again said that uh, what I do was cringe. And he was saying about the South Stand that some of the songs I do were cringe, and they were embarrassing. And uh, you know, I wasn't surprised to see that that he was doing it. He seems to be, you know, unless you you're at a Leeds match, getting absolutely rat ass that you can't remember what's happened. Um, that you know, if you do anything other than that, you know, then then you you're an idiot or something. You know, he seems to be one of these one of these fans that are just against anything that is supporting the club in a way. Um, and you know, I you can take people sort of. You know, on YouTube, you, you you're always going to get people uh, leaving nasty comments and stuff. You know, that's the way of the world, and and again, you're going to get the odd proper disagreement between Leeds United fans that you know leads on to pretty nasty things being said. That that's fine, but the people that sort of set out to go out and set these divides, that's kind of the point that I'm making tonight. You know, and the the title of the of the of the video, you know, it's it's Leeds United, not Leeds divided. And you know, I think next season we just we need to pull together again. Instead of having to go at each other for maybe you know not liking a certain player or not liking a tactic, however, just accept that people are going to have these different opinions and have these debates on Twitter. Because you know, on Twitter, when when people are discussing our club in a, a happy nature, even if they don't share the same opinion, it's such a great place to be. But as soon as someone brings something offensive in or abusive, that's when it turns to shit. And Twitter is such an awful place to be when that happens, and other general social media sites. And it uh, it, it just it does my head in. I know what I'm saying tonight. It's not going to stop it, and you know it's always going to be there, unfortunately. But it, I just feel I feel we all need to to come back together again and and just realise that we are all going in the same direction. We all want the same thing for our club. If that means someone wants to support the club in a different way to what you do, then just let it be. At least they're doing something that's going towards the same objective that you are. You know, people are allowed to do things differently. Just let it be. If someone doesn't like a player that you like, then, just, again, let it be. Have a discussion with them about that player, what you like and what they don't like, and, you know, bang heads on that one. But don't, don't abuse them for having that opinion. I mean, it's just, it's so childish, it's so ridiculous, and it's just so pointless because there's no sort of real meaning to it. So, it's like I said, I said it was going to be a quick one, and I've been jabbering on for 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say tonight, guys. So, uh, so let me know your opinions on that, you know, what you feel about it. Um, I'll just mention again, which I did on my last. Um, season review uh, video which if you haven't seen it then again I'll probably put the the, uh, the link to it below 
uh, just talking about how the last season has gone. Uh, but I did mention in that that I'm doing a uh, Q and A uh, session, well, a Q and A vlog, uh, probably in a couple of weeks. Um, so get your questions coming in now. I've already had quite a few in, but uh, you know we're not just limited to Leeds United. Obviously, I know it's going to be very heavily Leeds United based. But you know you can make it just football in general. You can make it sports related. You can make it general, you know, general life related. You know things about me if you want to know anything about me. Uh, not that you would, but uh, you know if, there's no sort of limit to what people you know want to ask. Uh, you know, leave the questions in the comment section below, or you can leave uh, the questions uh, at my Twitter at Chris Jones LUFC. So I'll collate them over the next couple of weeks, uh, and I'll give you guys um, sort of a date when I'm going to do it uh, a bit nearer the time. Like I say, it'll probably be about a fortnight, so it gives you all a chance to uh, to get some questions in. Don't feel like you're limited to to one question. You know, ask as many as you like. Uh, you know, within reason, though, guys. You know, you know, I'm not talking to. Anyway, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it there tonight, guys. So, uh, yeah, leave your comments below or at my Twitter at uh, Chris Jones LUFC. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very soon.